Hello, this is Sandy out here with the pre-review package and review for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Go Go Power Rangers set, Toys R Us exclusive. This is a complete set of all the style, two-inch stylized Ranger figures, or as I like to call them, Ranger Heroes. They are very much in the style of the Batman Brave and the Bull by Mattel, and the Hasbro Robot Heroes, Galactic Heroes, and Super Hero Squad figures. And Adventure Heroes, and Combat Heroes, and... Yeah, Hasbro just incorporates the stuff. They're little chibi stylized rangers. Um, this is a Toys R Us exclusive pack. You not only get all eight figures, which is the six rangers, Alpha and Zed, you get them all for two dollars less than buying the individual packs. And, um, which is very cool, and it's a bonus you get a sticker. A sticker of a putty, and a sticker of a Rita. Bandai, thank you for acknowledging Rita, but why is she just a sticker? And why is the putty a sticker? Okay, so this is the closest thing that we've seen that Bandai's actually acknowledged Rita exists. Um, this is a fairly large package as, uh, here's the Blue Ranger for comparison. This is a lot of empty space, but it doesn't bug me because it's a full set. Um, now these are like I said, like robot heroes. Um, they are also about the same size. So yay. Now let's go on to the rest of the packaging details. So, you know, go go Power Ranger set. Toys R Us exclusive. It's morphin time. Rita sticker that is a sticker. Look at that. I emailed Bandai about this, they didn't send me a response as they're recording in this video, but they might. Might have morphin Power Ranger heads. Yay! Same generic picture of the Red Ranger holding the Blade Blaster in sword mode that's on the Walmart pack. And the Toys R Us one. On the side you get a nice picture of the Red Ranger plays Dragon Dagger. On the other side, Red Ranger Power Sword. On the back it advertises the Back to Action figure pack. This has Red Ranger, Green Ranger, Pink Ranger, and Goldar. Right now, it's not looking like it's out yet. I was Toys R Us, they didn't have them. But, that's interesting. Uh, and if it only has those figures, I won't be getting it. Because I already have all those figures. You know, there's Red Ranger. So, yeah. That's kind of interesting. It's called Back to Action Pack. Uh, top generic bottom EPC. And, bad decoration, so, tell you what yet. So, that's pretty much it for this package. Stay tuned for the actual review coming up right now. Hello, this is Sound Out here with the actual review of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 2010 stylized Go Go Power Rangers set, Toys R Us exclusive, aka Ranger Heroes. These are more, these are, not more, these are chibi, super deformed, stylized, whatever you want to call them, figures, just like Robot Heroes, Combat Heroes, Adventure Heroes, Galactic Heroes, all those Hasbro lines, and also the Batman Brave and the Bold. These are nice. They're nice little figures. This is a Toys R Us exclusive set that includes all eight figures plus the bonus of a Putty and Rita stickers. Uh, that's nice. Bandai, why aren't they real figures? It is retails for $17.99, which makes it cheaper than buying all four two-packs, which I did see, and, um, okay, this is the main set, I already showed the package. I did find the individual packs, well they had all of them but Pink and Lord Zed. Show them to you right now. Alright, let's get on to the actual thing I'm reviewing. So... Like I said, there's a Rita and Putty sticker, not actual things, but as you can see, they're gone out of my package. I cut them out and made them into standees. So there's Rita. Oh, no, there's the Putty. There's Rita. She's false over. I bend my plastic a little bit. There you go. So those will hold until they actually make the real things. And Rita, I'm not quite sure why Bandai hasn't made any Rita toys. I emailed them asking about it, and I haven't gotten a reply yet. So, there we go.
Um, they're nice. It's like, it is the same style. So maybe they couldn't get them out for the actual package, but they'd already designed it for them to be in it, and they just like, oh, let's just stick stickers in there. Um, so maybe these will happen in the future. I really hope so. I hope, everyone really hopes so. And, who knows. So let's get started. We have now Red Ranger. He's a, he's individually packaged with the Black Ranger, so um, start with him. He's not fully painted, but that's okay because these are nice little figures. They're two inches tall, so he is smaller than his four-inch counterpart. Um, but that's the whole point of these guys. They are the same skill as Rollout Heroes too. Now they each have different articulation. For the Red Ranger, you can rotate his um, arm with a sword that far and then back that far and then you can rotate his head 360 degrees that's all the articulation he has so you can get him some awesome little poses and yeah that looks very nice moving on we'll move to the black ranger next he is um painted halfway they're all painted halfway so stop mentioning that uh, for articulation you can move his arm down with the power axe in it and back you can also move his head and you can also move his waist about that far get stopped by his fist. Now if you don't like his fist behind him, you can turn it enough that it'll pop it apart and then you can whoa, something moved. Pop his waist back together and you can have it on this side if you so desire. Um I don't know which side I like. Just you have to pop the guy in half. Uh, 